So we need to talk about this bearded dragon. Um, this is the video that I've been putting off for a while. I'm not going to be coming at this with like you know high energy and trying to keep people engaged. I just want to have a, like a sit down, honest, just chat. Um, and if people want to click off, they can click off. This is very much for my audience, and I'm not worried about new people coming in and being engaged. It's just very much for you, and there's this chat between us. So I think I need to start this story at the beginning, I suppose, really. So about two years ago, I was just scrolling through um, Preloved, which is kind of like you know, a second-hand app, like Face Facebook Marketplace or Gumtree or... Uh, Craigslist you have in America it's kind of like that but there's like an animal section on that and I come across this bearded dragon this two year old bearded dragon and this lady was saying I can't get this bearded dragon to eat I can't get it to do much at all um, I want to rehome it because I'm worried about it dying and I want someone to look after it properly so I message this person and I'm like I'll take the bearded dragon um, it's good with me if you if I if I take on this bit of dragon, it should be it, it'll be all right. Um, I kind of use that as my selling point as to why why she should trust me, sort of thing. Um, so I come and get this bit of dragon. Me and my girlfriend actually go and get this bit of dragon, and she said, "Oh, it hasn't been eating and stuff like that for like six months." Bear in mind. So I was like, "Okay, what temperatures? Um, what's your temperatures?" Blah blah blah. Asking all these questions, you know, and. Um, Turns out she didn't have a high range thermostat. She only had the uh, typical, like up to like 30, 32 degrees thermostat. So this bearded dragon had a hot spot of like 30 degrees. Now I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but you can, you know, you can Google it. Or I'll, actually I'll put it here on the, on the screen. But uh, yeah, so basically this bearded dragon had like semi brumation temperatures the entire time, which is why it wasn't eating. Uh, so I took this bearded dragon Got it home, obviously gate brought it up to like proper temperatures, and then it was like basking, it was like wolfing down food, like it was wolfing down veg. Um, and it was doing really, really well. I was tracking its weight, her weight was going up. Oh, and that's another thing, they thought it was a male, it's actually female. Um, yeah, so the weight was going up, it was doing really well. I was given this really varied diet, I'd go out pick weeds. Um, you know, I give I would feed like bok choy now and again. She would get like, red peppers. Um, should get blueberries once every month for you know antioxidants. I was really going all out on this bearded dragon's nutrition. And now and again, this bearded dragon would have like these bouts of diarrhea, and I was I was like, okay, well, what's causing that? So. Started off obviously looking into that and thinking about okay, what's causing this? And because I was feeding to just varied diet, it was really hard to isolate what variable in this diet might be causing this. And I noticed that I was feeding a lot of butternut squash at the time because um, I wanted that hydration in her. Because a lot of people, you know, dehydrate their bearded dragons and things like that, and people assume they're like strictly desert species when actually they're actually more accustomed to quite decent humidity levels um so i was like okay maybe it's the maybe it's this so i stripped that variable out carried on feeding and actually she her like feces became much more solid so i was like okay it's that and then carried on oh, i should i should know actually that during this time i tested for a lot i tested this bit of dragon on crypto i got like full parasitology done um, and there's this one thing I didn't test for, which we'll get on to. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, so I was just going back and forth, and I was trying to like take things out and tweak things and test to see what might be causing this. Um, and she's been all right. I mean, she she that first year she brumated fine, came out fine. She got. She did have pinworm originally, but I treated that and got rid of that. So she had all her parasites removed and whatnot. So I uh, 
So it wasn't until I started this disease series. I don't know if you've seen it, but I did a crypto episode with Tarek Abuzar, um, who is a you know exotic veterinarian in the UK. So I started going ahead of time, spending a lot of money again, testing for all the diseases that I want to make videos on because I wanted B-roll of like this. Oh, this is how you test, and this is how you do that. So it was more helpful to uh, to you and stuff. And then I tested for adenovirus or should I say adenovirus now and obviously there's me just oh yeah I'm just doing it for b-roll um showing you you know how how to swab the mouth and whatnot and the cloacal swab and it comes back positive and this wasn't something that in in my naivety previously I uh, kind of skipped over because I was like oh she's not she's not stargazing she's not she's not lethargic she's not you know, any of these other symptoms other than diarrhea, but then diarrhea is a symptom of like every other thing the bearded dragon can get. So it's just, I just didn't do it. So yeah, this bearded dragon is positive for ADV. Now she's clearly not a carrier carrier because I think she is actually affected by it in terms of like the diarrhea and stuff but that's the only thing like she, she's not got a reduced appetite or anything like she is like, like gregarious for vegetation let alone bugs like she'll chase kale on tongs across the room like that's how much she goes for veg so it's a bit of a, a bit of a shock really because i wasn't didn't even cross my mind so now I've I've obviously had a chat with Tarek, and um, but yeah, let's just let's just show let, let me just show you what I've done. Uh, this tripod's too tall, so I'm gonna have to take off this tripod. See, Nugget since like July has sat on that shelf and has not moved unless to come down to eat. She'll come down to eat and then go back. And that's pretty much been her life since the last few months. But yeah, I mean, I had this conversation with Tarek and um, I said, well, now I know that this animal is immune compromised. Obviously, now I'm thinking of, you know, in Paxion, an immune compromised animal um, may not be the best situation for, for a substrate. So he agreed and said, yeah, maybe, maybe not. So for now, I've taken it out. And at some stages, I've literally just got the bare wood, but I've got this slate thing here that I built in a quick succession. Uh, I've got some slate down there. So she had substrate, like like a lot of substrate, and eight on a substrate and everything for like two years that I've had her. So even when immune compromised, she didn't get impaction. So that just goes to show how much... His, it just shows how bad some of the bearded dragons had to be in the hobby for all this impaction to be so prevalent and this hysteria to start in the first place. Yeah, so I'm a bit rambly in this episode. I uh, can tell that. But I've taken that out and I thought, well, what I want to do is that I want to manage the situation until a, a point where I'm like really well informed on the disease and what I want to do going forward. So I took a backward step to go forward, if that makes sense. So that's my plan. I've improved the basking spots to just be very easy to use. It's nice and hot, it's about 45, 42 degrees. I'm doing the same as Joseph from JTB Reptiles. I've got my UV, my halogen, and the LED spotlight in the one spot. I thought, well, if basking is important for healing and digestion, then I really want to have this basking spot on point for this, for this lizard. So, another thing we discussed was brumation. My concerns was, well, should this animal really be brumating? Should this animal really be brumating if, you know, she's immune compromised? And... Tarek said, ideally, no. 
But the issue is, Nugget decides she wants to brewmate in like July. So she starts getting ready in like end of July, August. And if she's going down, she's going down. I can't stop her. It's, it's going to be more dangerous keep trying to keep temperatures high while she's trying to slow down and not eat. She's going to essentially just lose a load of weight by being at a high enough temperature where she doesn't go into a full brumation. So my kind of thing is if she's going down, she's going down. I'll do it properly and ease her into it like I did last year. Um, she's got no parasite, so it literally only is ADV now. So if she comes out of it, she comes out of it. If she doesn't, then there really isn't much I can do about that. Like, like I said, she's going to brumation whether I like it or not. So I, I, I'm I, not that worried considering she's obviously had ADV this entire time. Um, my biosecurity in terms of like handling other people's animals, I just don't do it. So she, she, she was uh, owned by like two people before me that I know of. So... She's exchanged a lot of hands, so I can imagine she came to me with it, and I just never tested it in the beginning. So, she's brumated with me with ADV, so she should come out of it the other side, anyway. But I've just come back from Ireland, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take her out, and we're going to weigh her, and see how she's doing. Because at the moment, she's gaining weight. So, another symptom of ADV is like weight loss. Like She is fine on everything apart from diarrhoea. So we're going to take her out and we're going to weigh her and um, we'll see what she is now. She was 350 last, 350 grams last time and I've been, I've been in Ireland for like a week so we'll take her out and we'll go weigh her and we'll see what the situation is. Alright, let's just get you on here Nugget. One three one oh So I I think from memory this tub is nine fifty grams. So one three one oh So if I just pop you out a second nugget. Sorry love. I just pop you on the floor for a sec or on the top. I'll just pop you down here. Come here, love. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, let me just support your body. There you go. Get on my wrist. Cool. If I just pop you down there. Sorry, just sit there a second. We'll be in a second. I'll get. Well, this is this prime time entertainment. So if if no one interested in this kind of thing, then um, that's fair enough. But I just wanted to do like a really raw video and see how it goes. Because it's just me. I just want to be honest and make something. Yeah, nine fifty. So one three one zero. Oh. Minus 950, so she's 360, so she's gains like 10 grams, so again, not fast, she's going to brumation as planned then. See, that's my thing, she's not like severely, she's not like any of these stargazing beardies or the ones that are completely just, you know, buggered by the disease. Yeah, so in, like, even like if you look at her body condition, she's got really good weight on her, she's got good muscle tone in the legs, like... If you didn't know, and you didn't know what her feces were like, you'd say there's nothing wrong with her. You would just say she's slowing down for brumation, uh, and you'd be like, yeah, she's just a normal bearded dragon. But because I know now, this is where my concerns lie. So now we're just going to pop her back. Um, I'm hoping this raw kind of vibe that I'm creating in this video... I say, I say I'm trying to create a vibe, it's just me being very raw and how I'm producing this video. I hope that people don't think this is awful. I hope it's somewhat bearable. Um, so I just wanted it to be very, very sit down and talk. You know, nothing like, hey guys, I'm a YouTuber. I just want to just chat about it. So we're just going to pop Nugget back. Yeah, I'm sorry, Nugget. Copy branch. There you go. Oh, and that's the first time she's barked. <laughs> she's not even barking. She just sat there like, what have you done to me? <laughs> so, one of the main reasons I've put this video off is that I want to know and understand how to manage an ADV positive dragon before I go ahead and make further videos on this dragon. Um, also, there was that hoo-ha with that 
bloke making articles and stuff about the channel and how how I have mental issues or how I'm how I'm what was the word crazy or something like that just because I made a video suggesting that you know UVB might mitigate respiratory infections and whatnot and since I made that video there's been so many papers about how it's how going on the same thing and you know Dr Francis Baines has made similar remarks in the podcast with Dylan from Animals at Home so I was right but you know I got like a long series of attacks that kind of felt like a lost for months specifically centering about why I hadn't made a video about NIDA virus and things like that so I'm taking my time on the disease stuff because it's serious like it's it's stuff that I want to get like pinpoint perfect um so yeah I, I, I won't lie also I did have a bit of paranoia about you know the fact that I didn't test and that I you know made this fuck up um and how I was going to get dragged through the mud for it but since then I've seen the same bloke like attack people like Dr Francis Baines for being like a a, a, a a scam and not actually an expert and just I've just realized he's a ridiculous little man and it's not worth my time so if he wants to attack me go for it I've got to the point where I don't give a shit anymore so have fun with it go for it so yeah but on a positive note what I've been thinking about this lately is that there's no content or information that's very specific for ADV positive dragons. Now, obviously, I try to research this, and other than look at studies describing a case study or a case study of an animal that's positive, there's nothing to help people other than a few articles describing what ADV is, and you know, you know, stargazing and all that stuff. But it's very, very basic. So, I'm hoping now, as going into this. As I think, like a silver lining, I can help people. And me and Nugget here can help people um, with their ADV poster dragons too. So I just wanted to get that off my chest and say, look, this is the situation. Hopefully, I can help people by being in the situation as a silver lining. And I'll be very, very transparent. If she doesn't make it through promotion, I'll just say now because you know the situation and you know what to expect. So I will make this ADV video with Tarek at some point when I can get some of his time. But in the meantime, you know, thank you for listening to my ramblings. If I bored the life out of you because it wasn't the usual style of high energy like research and whatnot, then I'm sorry. But this, I was going for like a, like a serious thing here. So now you know. Let me know how you feel about that in the comments. And um, yeah. <laughs>